Well, I think everybody pretty much covered it. Like, here, here's the thing. You this is the problem. With, this is the problem with people that just use that pseudoscience mumbo jumbo psycho babble. Like, it means nothing when because the 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 numbers tell you the reason why. They tell you men tend to take more risks. Men tend to work hard, uh, harsher, take uh, work harsher jobs. Men tend to take, you know what I mean? We know all of this. So how you skip over all of that and say, oh, it's because y'all don't have enough community. You skipped over all of that and that's where it led you to. And here's the reality. Like Chicago really had already said it. Men already do it. The world wouldn't be, wouldn't be built if we didn't have a sense of community amongst men. We have to collaborate with one another. We have to move as one. Now, granted, do we move as one against other people? Sometimes, yeah, a lot of the times. But that doesn't mean that we don't already have it. Over Only 8% of America, uh, and this is just America, only 8% of Americans admit to having no friends. Majority of them got friends. And over 60% of them admit to having five or more friends. And my other thing is, why do women think we have to do shit the way that they do it? You want to know what's funny? We open up this conversation with what? This when we cut when we when he when we cut up when we cut on King Talk. What was the very first thing we all talked about? No, I was in the back. What was it? I mean, <laughs> we came in, talked about the sports stadium, talked right. about sports. That's what we do. That's our stress reliever. We talk about sports, current events, shit that's going on in the world. That's what we do. And we laugh and we have a good time at, about it. You want to know the reason why men don't go to other men and tell each other our problems? Because if the man don't, we, we don't go to people asking for help if we don't have a, we, how, how, what's the best way I can explain this? What's the half best the time is because we are, half the time is because we already know that you're going through some shit. <laughs> That yeah, and also, that also because more than likely you want to have an idea unless, an you're, asking, unless you're asking for some type of help because most of our most of our problems come from finances things like that you know what i mean stresses like that so unless the person is about to give us some tangible help there's no point in me going and unloading on him my problems for no reason at all Especially if I know, okay, well, the only way I can handle this is if I handle it, if I got, I got, I know what I pretty much have to do to get out of the gym. So the only time I ever go to other people and actually and talk to them about it is if I actually need their help to get me out of the gym. Well, Sweeney, if I need Sweeney, money, that, I need that's the biggest uh, difference between men and women right there alone. What you just said is that a lot of times women speak to get things off their chest. Men usually speak to get results. We're trying to find answers to our questions. That's what we oh. need. So oh, we're, we're reaching out to get the because, answer. Because we're not we reaching don't. out just to talk, just to talk. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's, let's when he get his full. Oh, no, he was good. I, I like the back and forth. It don't okay. bother me. And that's the thing I'm is like we, we don't we don't do that. We don't go out and just be like unloading on people just for the hell of it. We do with some of our friends. If we got a stressful day, if it's really that stressful, we all got a friend that we can go to and tell them, like, man, bro, let me tell you about this shit that happened on the job today. But outside of that, we really don't have to talk to each other about that shit. We know what we got to do. Yeah, it's called trauma dumping. Women also seek help when they don't actually need it. You know, like, that, like that's a, woman fair. Will, will, a woman will have a problem in front of her and call her friend to help her with it just for the, someone to be there with her while she's solving it. She don't really need no help solving it. Whereas a guy is just like, I want to solve the problem now. So I'm not going to call nobody else to stand around and talk while I solve the problem. I'm just going to solve it and get back to what I was doing. All right, I got I got a quick yes, no question for the whole panel. Just yes, no, real quick. Do you think that men's inability or unwillingness or non need to go in a deeper a conversation like women do when it comes to the issues with them could lead to a seven year loss of life. No expectancy. No, no. I can re explain. No. No, I think men no, do talk no. deep, though. I think men do go deep and have these conversations, okay. though. Like, I I've talked about probably every topic you could think of on the planet with my close friends. Like, and, and to be honest, okay. uh, we, we keep talking about women having this camaraderie, and it's like, I don't know if I really see that. I don't know if I see groups of 
35, 40, 50 year old women just sitting around having conversations about deep topics. Like, what, 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 what I don't it's know where that is. At. Yeah, also, it's, it's more, more emotional unloading. Right, it is. It's more topical conversation too about about uh, surreal uh, issues. It's not even real deep issues all the time, unless they just get really, really personal out of nowhere. But the point I wanted to make was is that a lot of women, um, they don't they make friends really quickly and really easily, and men typically don't make a lot of new friends. Men typically, when you got your squad, you got your boys. Those are your boys. That is it. You know, you might meet other guys or get cool with a couple other guys as you grow and over time. But we don't make a bunch of new friends. That's not how we do. We don't make friends over brunch. We don't make friends because, we do you know, do got the same J's on you got on. So now we got to be best friends. Like, nah, nah, we don't. We don't. We don't. Oh, yo, he like football. You like football. So y'all, y'all, y'all should have something to talk about. It's like, no. Nah. I don't know. I, like I disagree. That. I think that's exactly how I think we compartmentalize our friends. I don't think we don't make new friends. We compartmentalize them. So this guy is my kicking it, drinking buddy. That guy is the one that I go and watch football games with. That guy is, the, uh, is my homie that I talk to on the job when we at the job. That guy right there. Then you got your friends where you may have grew up with them and you got those homeboys. But I think we compartmentalize, but we definitely make new friends. It's just not, oh man, we hang out every single day. It's just you got that guy that you, because all our friends ain't around us all the time. Like all my friends stay in Indiana and in, in Illinois, but I do got friends here okay. that I watch games with. I I go bowling with. I have a drink with. We went to the strip club a couple times. We like and we talk about some of the same shit on here. Mind you, these are things that I would talk to my homeboys back at home about, but we talk about the same shit here. And these are yeah, brand but- new people that I've. These are brand new people that I didn't know no. No, before four years ago. Mm. Yeah, but so how many of them are new? Like, so are they new? Were in your life like four? I like literally five just five met all years. of them in the last five but, years. Every last one of them. Okay, Here. but that that also has to do with when you when you change location too, though. You know, when you pick up and move somewhere new, you gotta you gotta interact and make some kind of communal ties wherever you live now. You know, but in general, I guess let's say you, let's say you you've been somewhere for a long time. In general. Guys don't tend to make too many new friends on the regular. Like the way women, the, the rate that women make new friends, it's 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 still dumbfounding to me how are quickly they, they can make friends. friends I don't know how real friends they are, but they'll act like they are. They don't have those real yeah, conversations, exactly. honestly. A lot of times exactly. these ladies, they they don't be talking about geriatric pregnancy and all that shit. Like they just think they can get have a baby at 40 and 45 and stuff like that. So a lot of those real conversations, like we were just talking about prostate cancer, getting your colon check in the back backstage and stuff like that before we, we came up. Like a lot of men, when we talk, we want to talk about something that really matters. We Or we were talking about sports, you know, because that matters to us. So, But a lot of the ladies are not having those different types of conversations. I think that's the difference. 